We're going to get to those stories in just a moment, but we begin tonight at five with breaking news. In just the last couple of hours, Marion County announced it will extend early voting hours. This is good news, but keep in mind it is only for the location that is downtown at the city county building in Indianapolis. So let's give you a specific look at the changes. They start tomorrow and they run through Friday. You'll be able to vote from eight in the morning until nine at night. Then you'll also be able to cast your ballots there over the weekend from 10 in the morning until nine at night. Then Monday, the day before Election Day, a little bit shorter hours, they'll be from eight to noon. Now we've seen a record number of early voters lining up to cast cast their ballots all across Marion County. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people are voting early across the country as well. There have been more than 65 million ballots cast with just a week to go until Election Day. So what does all this mean for Election Day? And what does this mean for the candidates right now? Tonight, our Matt McCutcheon is getting some perspective on what we've been seeing across central Indiana. We've only been doing really aggressive early voting campaigns for about 12, maybe 16 years, depending on where you are. That's one reason political professor Andy Downs gives for our long lines of early voters. Democrats have been much more likely to say they were going to cast their votes early. They've been much more likely to use mailed ballots than Republicans. He says part of that is because President Trump has encouraged followers to vote on Election Day. But while Downs feels these Indianapolis crowds are heavily Democrat, it doesn't necessarily mean any surprises. I wouldn't uh, at this point put a lot of, uh, of money down on massively, massively large turnout. In terms of the state of Indiana, we could be looking at, you know, something well, well into the 50s, if not into the 60s, which would be pretty good turnout for this state. As Election Day nears, the Benjamin Harrison presidential site is ready. There's a special resonance to being able to vote for president of the United States at the home of an American president. It became a precinct in 2015 and is now open to all Marion County voters. Machines have already been dropped off right next to a timely exhibit. You get to see everything from the hanging chad punch voting machine to the old Kaching machines. Last used in 2000, it offers a nod to the past, but on election night, don't expect timely results like in the past. This election, uh, there will be the increased potential for people to doubt the outcome in part because it's going to take a lot longer to count the votes. We are so used to on Tuesday night knowing exactly who won. Downs predicts it could be a few days, which could lead to more tensions regarding the timing and the outcome. Part of what is challenging this year is that there does not seem to be as much of a willingness to accept the results, and that could lead to problems down the road.